Welcome back, everyone, to Lore of the Shadow, where I am back here in Galadriel's Garden, where last time we saw a vision of what may have happened to the Company of the Ring. What do you say, Galadriel? You will need a guide to bring you to the Falls of Rauros. Few or a people ever travel as far as the Falls of Rauros. No, don't shake your head in frustration. There is a guide who will suffice. His name is Corridan, and he is the elder brother of Sigilith. Yes, I see that you remember our fierce champion. Without her twin knives and the skill with which she wielded them, the efforts of the Golden Host might have come to naught. Her death in the Battle of the Tower is a cause for grief to all who knew her. You will find her brother is cut from the similar cloth. But if Corridan shares her ability, he does not share her temperament. Find him in Talith Nedwil in the eastern side of Karaskalathon, and tell him that you need him as a guide along the Anduin. He is not called the River Walker for naught. He is more familiar with the land through which the Anduin flows than any elf in Lorien. All right, so I will speak to Corridan. I think the real challenge with all these ladders is that they're not exactly scaled for hobbits. Well now, I suppose this is Corridan. The lady has spoken to me about this, and I would refuse her nothing. But there is another reason that I would like to help you. Corridan looks at you, his eyes shining with a curious look of gratitude. You were a friend of my sister Sigleth in Mirkwood. When the hidden guard and the golden host journeyed in the fastness of Dol Guldor, you fought alongside Sigilith. How many times did you save her life? Was she yours? I do not know, but I am certain that it was more than once. I wish that the tides of fate had swept the two of you together during that final assault on the tower, rather than apart, but... Had you two were been together on the stairs, perhaps she would have returned from Mirkwood. But it was not to be. That is the way of things. I would be honored to accompany you south along the Anduin. Sigilith's friends are mine as well. We will need supplies. Um, boats and limbas and paddles. Uh, speak to Bortris and Fangolf, uh, requiring such things as we will need. Uh, Bortris will be in Talen Galadrim, and Fangolf will be near the surrounding hedge beneath the Talen Gl <coughs> Far, not far from the entrance to Karas Galethon. How am I going to remember all of those names? Ah, here is Feingolf. The Lady Galadriel is wise to send Corridon as your guide. You need a boat for navigating the Anduin? Yes, I will provide one and paddles besides. How many will be going with you? Hmm. Lady Galadriel is wise to send Corridon with you. He is called the River Walker, you know. And it is a name truly given. He knows the lands on either side of the Anduin better than any elf I know. His sister Sigleth perished in Dol Guldor. We were not close, she and I, for she had a temper unlike anyone else, and to me she was always as sharp as st and stern. It is a shame what happened to her even so. I am certain that she did great damage to her enemies before she fell, and that must be a consolation to Corridan in his grief. The boat and paddles will be ready when the time comes for your departure. All right. Now I need to find Borthrist. And he is in, I think it says, Talon Galadrim, which I believe is that main tree where I... Had a little sightseeing tour with Nona. Hello there. I am looking for some provisions for a trip down the Anduin with Gordon. I will give you enough lembas and other foodstuffs for two weeks. You're preparing for a journey down the Anduin. 
You have come to the correct elf, fine lore. I will supply you with enough men, bus, and other goods for making such a journey comfortably. Traveling by boat will require you to disembark occasionally. There is a portage way that you will need to take around the rapids at San Gebir. Uh, do not be so foolish as to traverse those with boats. I'm sure Corita knows this quite well. And, of course, you will need to beach them before you reach the falls of Raros. It is a long climb down the cliff face, but I have heard that there is a way that was used of old. I will give you enough limbus and other foodstuffs for two weeks. Corden can cover that distance in five or six days. That should suffice. Namare. All right, so back to Corden. The supplies will be ready. The last time I traveled south, orcs were gathering on the river bank. You have done as I asked? Good. The most important step in a journey occurs before you even leave home, the preparations for your departure. Make sure that your weapons are cleaned and ready. The last time I traveled south, with which some weeks ago, orcs were gathered on the far shores of the Anduin. We may need to face them. Oh, yes, by the way, there are also some Easterlings there that I've run into, so not just orcs. Unfortunately, I lent my bow to Fimloth at Haldreth on my return from that journey. Uh, perhaps we can stop by her encampment uh, when we depart, and I can recover my bow from her. I will use a spare until then, but there's nothing quite like your own familiar weapon, is there? Siglet spoke often of her knives, Lachil and in Ignacil, and I feel the same way about my bow, though it has no name. My sister was always better with names. But now you should return to the house of Celeborn and speak with your Dunlending friend. Tell her that we are almost ready to leave. All right, I shall speak to Nona then, and we can be ready to depart. On to another journey towards Rohan. Are you ready to start our journey, Nona? Wadu's sword is thirsty for more adventure. I followed you here on the behest of a dream, Pine Lore. I will follow you wherever our road takes us. If your adventures ended today, I would already have quite a tale to tell Suvlek on my return. I can't imagine what awaits us, but... It will only add to the record of our deeds. What is sort of thirsty for more adventure as well? If we come across more Easterlings, or their fell ally, as we did in the swamps, I will be more than ready than I was last time. Oh, you'll be more ready than last time. That is good. This land of elves is a long way from Enidwaith. A long way from my people. I am grateful for the healing arts of Galadriel and her people, and for the lady's willingness to, for me to see her city. But there is something strange about this place, and I must tell you the truth. It is no place for me. I want my feet upon the ground and my foes in front of me. This land of elves is a long way from Enidwyth, a long way from my people. I know what you mean about that. I am ready to depart, Pine Lore. Perhaps things will feel more familiar with me in our journey along south of the of the river. All right. Then let us go. Now uh, we have arrived at Haldrit, and here is Fimloth. I hope you have your bow now, Corden. I lent my favorite bow to Fimloth. And now she has lost it. What? Oh, no, Femloth, I'm not upset. If those orcs were as numerous as you report, you were right to flee. A bow is a bow, and the lives of my friends come first. I'll search the woods of Thinglad for the orc that picked it up as you escaped. Are you of a mind to join in this hunt, Pine Lore? Your Dunlending friend has already agreed to fight the orcs with me as well. Perhaps we can make a game of it. 
the first of us to find my lost bow would be the victor. But I shall be the happiest if all if all to have the bow back in my hands. All right, so I need to defeat orcs and Dinklad uh, while Nona and Corden hunt for the bow as well. So let's see if which of us is lucky enough to, uh, to find the bow. Uh, let's try this place. It was a lousy with orcs the last time I came across. And it looks like the same is true now. There we go. Well, that was one orc. Of course, we weren't going to find the bow in one orc. We're going to need to kill a few more. I'm sure, though, that the local elves would be more than happy to see more orcs die in this process. Oopsie daisy. There you go. sure what that's all about but ah more orcs of course I am now quite above level over them seeing how we are well past the level area for here we're just passing through before going on to Rohan okay that's four down and no bow left now I suppose I have to be careful here because I certainly don't want to damage the bow as we kill the orc. Now I notice that none of these orcs have been shooting at me. I suspect that that means that none of them had a bow at all. Well, ah, oh, actually. Oops. Uh, I wasn't expecting <laughs> there to be one behind me. Sorry about that. <laughs> there you go. No bows amongst them. Well, I hope that Corden had a better luck than I had. Well, which of you found the bow? You did not find the bow. Nona and I did not either. The orc that seized the bow must have already left the area. Oh, pity. This spare bow does not fire as accurately as my other did. I am still a deadly shot, Pine Lore. Oh, don't worry about that score. Did you know how dangerous Nona is when in combat? Oh, boy, do I know. I didn't think that the Dunlendings were more than barbaric hill-dwelling men, but she is a deadly warrior indeed. I underestimated her, and I will not do so again. Well, make sure you're on the same side as her and not on the opposite. If you are, uh, are if we are surprised by orcs, so we journey further along the Anduin. I will be glad to have her along. All right, well, what does Nona have to say about that? Whatever orc took the bow must have fled the area. Hmm, it seems, he seems surprised, but I was not. Whatever orc took the bow must have known that the elf would come looking for it and fled the area. This orc is lucky that he did, for his hunters numbered in three, a hobbit, a new cloth, and an elf. Flight alone could have saved it. I'm sorry Cor Corridan does not have his favorite bow, but I still enjoyed the hunt. Do you think that you can humor me with one count pine lore? I understand that we must hurry, but this should not take long. Oh, and what's that? Let us take a detour to Stongard, so I can thank Horn. When we were last in the region, I was wounded in the swamp, and you brought me to the nearby outpost of the Horse Lords. I was a wounded enemy to everyone there save one. Through here a man called Horn. He spoke on my behalf, and when you suggested they be taken to the late elf woods for healing, not quite, Nona. Actually, it was Horn's idea to take you to the elves. What? Really? Well, that is one more thing for which I should thank him then. 
And that is what I want, Pine Lore. A brief detour to the outpost of Stangard, so that I can give him my thanks. Perhaps you can have him meet me here? I do not think that I would be welcome once again within the walls. Yeah, all right. I will do so. I will go to Horn and speak with him and be back so that you don't have to come to Stangard. Ah, the same nice friendly guard as we had before. You were looking for Horn. Good. Take him with you. Ooh, oh, it's you. Still traveling with unsavory types, are you? <sighs> you were looking for Horn. Yes, take him with you. Take him and be gone. You will find him up at the hill. Boy, he is certainly not particularly friendly. Ah, here's Horn. How is the Dunlendon girl? Did she survive? Yes, she survived with the healing arts of Galadriel, and that she's come to think old and wishes to thank you in person for your kind words. Oh, I see. Well, I am glad. Hmm. It seems that there is no place for me here anymore, Pine Lore. I am no longer welcome in Stangard. My fellows feel that I have been somehow tainted by stepping foot within the elf woods and by speaking on behalf of the Dunlending. Well, they no longer trust me. They want me to leave by sunrise tomorrow. Well, anything I can do to help? Well, I do not have many possessions. If you bring me my harp and my writing supplies, I will be ready to go. My harp is in the tavern. My writing supplies are at Wadu's house. Wadu's house, yes, where you I have been staying. All right, but I will go and head for the tavern and to the house. I was about to say Wadu instead of Wada, but of course Wadu is Tono's <laughs> late brother. So, yeah, not quite. Ma amazing how those two names are so close to each other. I will presume that these are Horn's writing supplies. There we go. Now, to the tavern for the harp. Now, where is there a harp around here? Ah! Well, I hope this is Horn's harp and not his harp. Well, he's not complaining, so I suppose it must be the right one. Back to Horn. Here are your belongings. I am not welcome in Stangard, but where can I go? Thank you for bringing these to me. I'm not welcome here, but I now need to know where to go. By order of Theoden King, I am not to return to Rohan until my term of service in Stangard is finished. Where are you traveling, Pine Lore? Could you use another companion for the road? I don't wish to intrude, but I believe my place is with you and the Dunlending girl for whom I gave up. Well, it was no life to give up. I only did what was right, though my fellows failed to see it. Yeah, you're welcome to come along. Thank you, Pine Lore. I owe you a great deal for this. An aimless life would ill suit me. Your goals are mine now, and the dangers that you face, I will face as well. Interesting words. Interesting words. Well, it looks like you have plenty of time to thank him. This confirms what I suspected about the horse lords. Cruel even to their own. Hmm, and they're not deserving of our sympathies at all. I will speak with Horn and thank him for his words on my behalf and give him my sorrow that he has suffered for me. But I will also tell him that he is now better off and need shed no tears for his lost fellows. We will be ready to leave when Corden says that we should leave. And speak with him when you are ready to go. Yeah, that's right. When we return next time, we will have Horn in our company, and we will have Corden, 
with us as well as we continue in on our little journey down the Anduin in Lore of the Shadows.